Welcome to another video for valuation of bonds and shares. In this video, we will look at an example involving annual, semi-annual and quarterly interest payments for bonds. A bond has face value of rupees 1000, coupon rate of 12% and maturity of five years. If the required rate of return is 16%, find out the value of the bond if the interest is paid annually, semi-annually and quarterly. So let us first note down the information that has been provided to us. First we'll take the case if the interests are being paid annually. So interest paid is annually face value is 1000 rupees coupon rate is 12% number of periods is 5 and the required rate of return KD is 16% So let us now draw the timeline for the annual interest payment option. So the total number of periods is 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, KD or the required rate of return is 16%. Coupon rate is 12%. Face value is 1000 rupees. So interest will be equal to 12% of 1000. So 12% means 12 by 100 into 1000. Two zeros, two zeros get cancelled. So 120 rupees so 120 120 120 120 120 and at the end we'll also get the maturity value which is 1000 rupees so let us find out the present value of the bond in case of annual interest payments so here I'm going to solve this problem using only one method, which is using the present value factor tables. I would suggest that you try solving this problem using other methods also, which have been covered in the previous videos. So the value of the bond is equal to interest multiplied by present value factor of annuity where interest rate is KD and tenure is N plus M which is the maturity value multiplied by present value factor of a lump sum where interest rate is KD and the number of periods is N. So this is equal to now interest amount is 120 into present value factor of an annuity. Now KD is the required rate of return which is 16%. N is the number of periods which is 5. M is 1000 which is the maturity value into present value factor. KD again is 16 and N is 5. So this comes out to be 120 into 
3.274 plus 1000 into 0 0.476 and this turns out to be 868.88 rupees. So basically the value of the bond turns out to be 868.88. Now let's move to semi-annual interest payments. So now let's note down how these values will change when the interest is being paid semi-annually. So interest paid is semi-annual. Face value remains the same, which is 1000 rupees. Coupon rate was yearly that is 12%. Now, if we are paying interest half yearly, then the coupon rate will also become half. So this is 6%. Number of periods was five. This was basically number of years, five years. But now the interest payment is happening semi-annually. So the number of periods will double which will become 10. Required rate of return is also annual. So half yearly, it will be half. So this will be 8%. So let me draw the time scale for semi-annual payments. So each year has been broken down into two periods. So total we have 10 periods. Now interest is going to be 6% of the face value. So INT is equal to 6 divided by 100 into 1000. Two zeros get cancelled. So this is 60 rupees. So interest received after every six months is 60 rupees and so on. And of course, at the end of the tenure, the maturity value will be received, which is 1000 rupees. The value of KD is 8%. So this is the time scale for semi-annual payments. So let us now find out the value of the bond when the interest payments are semi-annual. So the formula remains the same. B0 is equal to INT, which is the interest multiplied by present value factor of an annuity with interest rate as KD and tenure as N plus M into present value factor of a lump sum KD N. Interest is now 60 per compounding period multiplied by present value factor of an annuity. Now what is KD and N in this case? So KD is 8% and N is the number of periods which has now become 10. Plus M is the same 1000 plus present value factor of a lump sum. KD is 8 and N is 10. So this is equal to 60 into 6.710 plus 1000 into 0 0.463. So this comes out to be 865.6 rupees. So in case of semi-annual interest payments, the value of the bond B0 comes out to be 865.6. Earlier for annual, we got a value of 868. So the value of bond has reduced. Now let us take the third case, which is quarterly interest payments. So interest paid is quarterly. 
the face value remains the same which is 1000 rupees the coupon rate on an annual basis is 12 percent on a semi-annual basis is 6 percent now quarterly is half of semi-annual so coupon rate will become 3 percent number of periods will be twice that of semi-annual number of periods so this will become 20 and required rate of return kd will again be half of semi-annual which is four percent so let me draw the time scale for quarterly interest payments so each annual period or year will be broken down into four periods in other words each semi-annual period will be broken down into two periods so total there will be 20 periods now interest will be 3% of 1000 rupees 3 divided by 100 into 1000 two zeros get cancelled so this is 30 rupees so at the end of each quarter the interest payment will be 30 rupees and of course at the end of the tenure the maturity value will be given to the investor which will be 1000 rupees the value of kd is 4% so the value here will be four percent so this is quarterly let us now find the value of the bond so the formula remains the same b0 is equal to int into present value factor of an annuity with kdn plus m into present value factor of a lump sum with kd n so interest is now 30 rupees multiplied by present value factor of an annuity now kd is 4 percent and n is 20 plus m is 1000 into present value factor of a lump sum so kd is now 4 n is 20 so this is equal to 30 into 13.590 plus 1000 into 0 0.456 so this comes out to be 863.7 rupees so in case of quarterly interest payments b0 is equal to 863.7 so in case of annual payments the value of bond came out to 868.88 in case of semi-annual interest payments the value of bond came out to be 865.6 in case of quarterly payments the value of bond came out to be 863.7 rupees so as you can note the value is decreasing when you move from annual to semi-annual to quarterly